I think Robert Johnson's really great to start with because he's really the best at every single thing all together. I mean, he's a guitar playing, slide guitar, and singing and songwriting all together. I think as a package, he seems to be really great at everything. Because if you start with Robert Johnson, I think you can find your way, leading your way to other things, you know, because he had followed Sunhouse around and learned from Sunhouse, and Sunhouse had uh, played with Willie Brown and Charlie Patton. That whole family that was coming out of that same area, you know, if you just start with that, it's like starting, you know, nowadays with a certain rock band, you might say, like, if you like Nirvana, it'll lead you to liking the Pixies or the Melvins or something. I think it's it's good to start with sort of Robert Johnson because he'll lead you to people like Charlie Patton and, and things like that. There's so many amazing uh, other uh, other blues singers that I love that you know only did uh, really f a few recordings. Um, Tommy Johnson, his his songs are so completely powerful and creepy and so just almost evil. I mean, some of those songs that were recorded back then were just so dark and evil. I can't believe that people even recorded them and thought this would be great to put on a record. I mean, what were they thinking at the time? Like, maybe he's cutting, you know, I asked her for water, she gave me gasoline. So creepy. I can't believe people were like, okay, cut. That's a take. Okay, next song. You know, what were they thinking? Or Robert Johnson, you know, me and the devil blues. You know. It must have been very odd. I'd love to have been there to know what was happening in the room. You know.